Hey guys, it's me Jazzy here. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a really pretty um, makeup for spring. Just since we are marching into spring. I know that was really lame. But anyway, since we are marching into spring, and it's still winter, it's not officially spring or anything. So basically April it will be like really spring and stuff so um i wanted to show you guys a really light and pretty spring makeup tutorial so yeah i just came up with this for myself and so yeah let's get started the first thing you want to do is make sure that your face is clean so for this to be light and uh light and springy because it's not going to be a lot of makeup and it's going to be not it's not going to be heavy or anything. You want to make sure that your face is clean. So I'm just going to be using a makeup remover wipe. You can get any brand you like. I just have these right now. My favorite are Neutrogena. So I am just going to remove my makeup. Okay. You just want to make sure that your face is all cleaned off. And this is just like soreness from my really bad allergies and so it's really dry. And it makes me look like I have a mustache, but that's okay. Okay, so now the next step, before you, always before you do makeup, you want to make sure your hair is out of your face. I just use water when I'm pulling back my hair to do my makeup. I'll just spray a little bit of water. And then brush. And I'll put a little headband on just so that I don't get hair. So the hair and the flyaways stay out of my face while I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, okay, so the next thing you want to do is apply moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer you want. Because in the winter, depending on the climate you live in, or state you live on, um, sorry for the background noises, you will be like, it might be a little bit cold, so your skin's going to get really dry, and it's been really warm lately, but my skin's very dry from my allergies because I have allergies and also my skin is just dry from the cold weather. And so I want it to be moisturized before I put on makeup. Um, especially if you're putting on makeup that might dry out your skin. You want your skin to be very moisturized so that it doesn't look all dry and cracked underneath your um, makeup. So as you can see, that made a big difference in my skin. It looks a lot better. So now we are ready to put on makeup. Um, you can go ahead and put on your, your foundations and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and put on my um, concealers and my... Powders. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my face makeup and if you can skip foundation and if you really need it just try at least to use a BB cream like a tinted moisturizer or something. Use as You need to use as very little face makeup as you can for this light spring. Okay so the first thing I'm doing is applying my concealer to my under eyes obviously because it's the evening and I don't need it right now but if I was filming this in the morning I would definitely need it so if you're putting on your makeup in the morning and you're doing this look you probably you might need concealer if you're really tired or you have dark circles like me so then I'm taking a sponge and I'm blending that out because I don't have any um cosmetic wedge sponge because I'm all out so I'm just using my powder sponge and it works really well and you're not supposed to rub under your eyes so I'm trying to do really light taps under my eyes but I was trying to blend this out as quick as I can 
And as you can see, that's just highlighted my face and made it look a lot brighter and more awake. And I just had to fix it there. And I really like how that looked. And I also did the sides of my nose because it just makes your nose look, I guess, better. And then I put some of the highlighter on, my e.l.f. highlighter, on the bridge, the top of my nose. And that will just highlight your nose and make it look more... I don't know what it does, but it really makes your nose look a lot better. And then I'm going to get some more concealer and I'm going to cover up my little sores. And I know you're not supposed to put like makeup on things that are still trying to heal. But they're not scars. I'm just trying to cover them up for this tutorial because I want my face to look as good as it can. And they're really annoying but they're still healing so I promise you guys that they won't be there forever. <laughs> they're probably going to get better once my allergies go away. Like once my allergies get better during the summer because they're really bad in the winter and spring and stuff so then I'm going to apply my L'Oreal True Match powder and like literally I'm like there's barely any of this stuff left so I had to like get as much as I can but I really like this powder and that's just going to make my face look really nice and as you can see I don't need foundation or anything and then I'm taking my Lancome powder and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that Lancome powder over it to add more color back to my face and I'm gonna put it blend it down onto my neck to make my neck match my face I guess I would say I don't know and then I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow but that kind of failed so yeah so that's all I'm doing, and I'm just blending it out, and now I'm done with my face makeup. Okay, so sorry about the background noise. I finished my face makeup, and I really like it. Let's get started with the eyes. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a little bit of base. You can use eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base. They're basically the same thing. I'm just going to use this white cream eyeshadow base to make my colors pop. And a little goes a long way with this. So just apply a very small amount to your lids and just take a flat shading brush and just blend it up to your brow bone. We're not going to really be doing any fancy eyeshadow. We're not going to be putting like okay. brow bone in a bunch of um, crease. Just blend that. Alright. So, the next thing we're going to do is take my Lancome Eyeshadow Quad Color Design Palette. Um, it's just four colors, which is a mm, matte, metallic, and another metallic, and a shimmer. And we're going to take the matte color that I've hit pan on. I love this color. It's the color positive. It's a matte color. I'll put the box right up here. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my eyelid. Just to mattify it a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of cream pink eyeshadow and it blends out into a beautiful like rose gold color so i'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my eye and then oh blend that out So it blends out into a really pretty pink eyeshadow. It's really pretty for spring. And I just like to apply it with my finger because it's creamy. And it has a lot more pigment when you apply it with your finger. It's really easy to apply. And it looks very pretty. I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend it out. It's harder to blend a cream shadow, but I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, 
The last thing I'm going to do just to make my eyes pop is take the matte color again and just take the um, creamy one that I used at the very beginning on my, uh, um, what do you call this, blending brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on my crease and on my brow bone. Just to make your eyes pop a little bit. I'm sorry for the lighting. Very last step to the eyes is to take another one of those um, flat shader brushes. This one I'm just going to be using for this other Lancome palette I have. It's mine again with four and I'm going to take the color filigree filigree whatever you call it this shimmery color this champagne uh, shimmery gold cream kind of color and just apply that in my tear duct and that's going to make my eyes pop okay so the very last thing you want to do to finish off this really pretty spring makeup is lips and your eyelashes so I had to go eat dinner and then it sort of got dark like my mom made salmon fish the fish salmon and baked potatoes which I don't really like fish so I just had a big big potato big baked potato and it was really good so it sort of got dark so I couldn't film by the window anymore so I'm in my brother and sister's bathroom <coughs> So, first thing you want to do is just curl your eyelashes. Then you want to apply your favorite mascara. I'm just using this waterproof mascara. Oh, and just by the way, I got a little bit on the top, but it comes off really easy with your finger. So I'm not going to go with like super long lashes, so I just apply one coat of that. These lashes are a lot longer than these for some reason. I do not know why. So they look pretty uneven. So I'm just going to curl these more. Fix those a little bit. That's as good. And I just want really thin and fresh and simple looking lashes. This is a really simple makeup look. And then I'm just going to apply this pinky nude Lancome lipstick that I have. This is mine. It's in Color Design Love It Cream. It's in the color Love It Cream. It's really pretty nude lipstick. I've used a lot of it, as you can see. There's like a nub left. I love it. And then I'm just going to apply some of this pink... Pink Me Up Baby Lips Doctor Rescue to add a lip, it's like a lip balm, baby lips. I love this stuff, but it's just going to add a glossy texture and, you know, just make your lips pop. So, that is the finished makeup tutorial. So, I hope you enjoyed my video today. I think Katie's video is going to be uh, I don't know what she's going to be doing for her video tonight, but just stay tuned, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye, guys!